Rust Force Wipe. Once every month, the start of every month, on the first Thursday of every month, the whole of Rust wipes. Everyone is put in the same place, no progress, nothing. We are all starting from the beginning and it is honestly a wonderful time in Rust. It can be kind of peaceful almost at the very beginning where there's no bases, there's nothing. It's just the server and the animals and you. But that reality quickly fades because this time is honestly the most chaotic period of Rust you can endure, especially as a solo going up against so many groups. And that is what I did. Here I am, me, the solo. I decided I want to play a nice little mm. solo force swipe, so that is exactly what I did. I hopped into the game and I got straight into it. Welcome everybody. But before we get into that, just a quick thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring today's video. Rust is now supported by NVIDIA Reflex and by DLSS, but I will get more into detail on that later on in the video. Okay, there is a lot going on in Rust right now. Kind of exciting changes. The first and foremost that you'll see is the map. Uh, you can now cycle between like all the maps, um, which is cool. All kinds of labs at the minute and, and all stuff like that, which is cool. Uh, where do I want to build? I think... If you enjoy the video, please leave a like. If not, a dislike. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and appreciate it. And yeah, more on the NVIDIA sponsorship later on in the video. I'm thinking of building on this island, actually. Secluded from the mainland, I can farm whatever I want. And then I can just, by the looks of things, run straight across. Uh, and that way I can stay nicely out of the way of everyone. So, you know what? And there's snow here, so there might be some good node spawns. I'm going to do it. This is going to be where my base is. And with my location decided, I wasted absolutely no time gathering some wood, gathering some stone, making myself some basic tools, building materials, and getting a base down. This is about the time where I realized where I was actually living. So, this is literally right outside my base. Like, I've come out of the base and I'm going to the mainland and there's this kind of semi-big um, little group base here already. So that's not super great. And I think I saw them earlier running out with guns. Uh, so honestly not great. But, but bonus points is they got a horse and oh, I'm stealing it. So I'm just going to head inland now to try and get like a green card and some vital components to try and get me started. Missed him. Oh, well, I have no idea where this guy went. That is a crate, but that is so dangerous just for one crate. Oh, okay, night night. I'm just gonna do it. I think I am, because if it has a fuse in it, that's huge. Oh, look at that. Only thing is, I won't really be able to see too much down there, but it's fine. Someone's done it pretty recently too. It's fine. Got the furnaces on and cooking. Full of stuff. It's time to go back to Green Card. Uh, I should probably make a few more arrows. Now, while I was trying to keep a positive outlook on this, it was really slowly sinking in, or rather quite quickly, the reality of where I was living. Because while it was secluded and nice enough for me to build without being interrupted for the most part, I was finding it very hard to get even just basic components to help in my gradual progression of the early game. And this was really beginning to hinder me. Hey bro. How you doing? Well, they didn't shoot at me immediately, so maybe I've got friendly neighbors. Did you hear that? Oh, okay. The Yoka shop 
Yokerade. Off in the distance, it was time for my first count. Or oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. What the? That guy's dead. Coming in, buddy. Oh, fuck. This ain't it, Chief. And in a batch of the world's worst timing, two other counter aiders showed up just as I was about to blow the door down. And the arrows have got plenty for a fight. It was time to fight them off. Or die trying. There's an arrow guy going up on that other dude. Come on, I need to hit him. Fuck how? Might be dead. Yep. Shit. Oh, I might be out of cloth too. Yeah, that's a tough one. That is tough. They just came at the wrong time. After this loss, the stark reality was beginning to set in that I was living too remote. I just could not get things easy enough for me to start snowballing for early wipe. I had to make a difficult decision soon, one that I did not want to make. Okay, I'm dead. Sweet. <laughs> uh, and now we're on timer. Hi, can I make an order, please? Can I please get crispy shredded chili chicken and egg fried rice. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yep. Uh, like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, thank you, bye. Looks like I've got visitors. <laughs> ah, lucky. Uh, lucky's got nothing to do with it, mate. I'm just fucking quick. But yeah, it was pretty lucky. <laughs> I was ordering a Chinese, mate. You can't be doing that to a man when he's ordering food. 
That's right, I decided to up and move base. I had decided that I was simply too far away from things to just get anything done. Like, I, I was absolutely nowhere near anything. So I decided to up and move base pretty much in the middle of a bunch of monuments, which was very nice for me. And it allowed me to experiment with a new kind of base. Something that didn't go super well to begin with. But once I had managed the build okay, I started to transfer items from my other base little by little and had my own little new base set up pretty nicely. I had done a bit of farming at this point and a bit of component run so that was nice, however, the ugly face of this new area was about to rear its head. Seems an appropriate amount of force, I guess. <laughs> really, dude? That's right, not even a day into full swipe and these groups had yeah. full-fledged weapons. I had pretty much had enough and it was getting late for me and I needed to eat my Chinese anyway. So it was pretty much time for me to log off, call it a day and hope they didn't raid me. Thankfully, the next morning started a bit better than this day had gone. So it looks like the dudes right at the end of the like lake thing that I'm on took took down the heli and I know uh, what base it is, it's the one that like half rendered in as I ran over the train yard. Uh, they're going to be the people that are going to be the biggest pain in my ass, I think, whilst I try and get established here. But to be honest, should be fine. <laughs> I hope. Oh, I'm feeling refreshed, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready to get after it today and, uh, you know, just... Yesterday really beat my- did I mention that it's, uh, it's the- Oh my god. That's kind of insane, I'm coming back. Satchel, that's big, we, we can use that. Things were almost starting to go well in my little corner of the world. And, as I mentioned, I was about to have a visitor. We are going to first farm for these arrows. Second, we're going to go into train yard and get all the crates I can and kill all the scientists. We're going to use the scrap I just got from all the scientists and all the crates to go to outpost to buy ourselves a blue card. Fourth, we're going to come back with a blue card Never mind. The plan has changed. The plan has definitely changed. We are gonna get some rope. Okay, the plan has once again changed. The plan has once again changed. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Well, the plan was to get some rope and stuff. Uh, and get a crossbow and go to the underwater lab. The plan's, cha <laughs> the plan's changed. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is take this MP5 and uh, take it to the lab, I reckon. It didn't take long.
Now, I need an underwater spear gun, and I needed one propane tank to do that. So I hit the road, went and got one, came back to my house, and this is what greeted me. Oh. And LR and two other dudes to accompany him. I'm pretty sure they lived right next to me in that base, and they were the guys that I killed to take that MP5 off. So, I decided to make one more adjustment to my wipe for my own survival, and that was to once again scout out a place to move, this time not too far from where I already was, because I wanted to do the underground labs and live near the fishing village that was very close to me, I decided to go on a little walk around the swamp to see if I could perhaps live there. And what I found there was nothing short of astounding. Pop in my back! This base is literally just open with stuff in it. Huh? Spaz 12. Someone's raiding. Right, well, I'm just gonna yoink this base real quick. Uh, stash all my stuff. Um, go try and kill him, I guess? What in the fuck? That was C4! Where the hell has this dude got a C4 from? Must have found like an airdrop. Because that's where he's got the spaz from. So I had established myself nicely in the new area and I had one thing on my mind. The new underwater labs. So I cleaned up the base and that's where I went. Here's the, uh, the three-step plan, okay? Step one. Take my stuff over to the fishing village and buy everything that I need. That's diving fins, no, that's diving mask and a tank, diving tank. Step two, I place the kayak in the water, I get in the kayak. Step three, I take the kayak all the way over to the underwater lab, just above it, in the water. Step four, I get out the kayak into the water, swim down, fight off any sharks. And step five, we finish inside the lab. We, we get inside. Seems simple enough. This is kind of scary, I won't lie. Oh my gosh. When a shark comes to me, I'm going to scream. Oh no. Okay, so I think I need to go all the way down here, huh? I wonder if I'm getting camped by someone. There's not a thing there. Okay, good start, no sharks. Bruh. This is fucking spooky as shit. Okay, we need a... We need a blue key card for that, we ain't got that.
Blue key card for that. Okay. I need to take a mental note of where I've been and where I'm going. Hug the left for now. Really? What if I don't find another green card, bro? This is a joke, I think. Am I getting punked? I'm getting punked. I think Face Punch have done that thing again where they uh, make the new thing incredibly OP. And so my first underwater labs visit went off pretty much without a hitch. No sharks, no people camping at the site, and I got a fair bit of loot from it. Granted, I didn't have a blue card or a red card to use in this one, one of the larger labs that I lived near. Uh, I still got a good amount of loot, and honestly, I think they're a great addition to the game. Uh, they just need a little tweaking, perhaps, with a little less loot and maybe a few more entrances, exits, so you don't just get groups camping the entrance, but who am I to say? Anyway, off I went home with my newly acquired loot and with new plans of expanding my base and expanding my reach in my area. This was a new area, one that would be kind to me, I hoped, and it was time for me to put my claim on it. That's right, I had my eyes on a raid target, one that I wanted to go and see what it looked like on the inside, because on the outside, there was a wooden door, and to me, a wooden door is just all too appealing. Hey, do you live here? Hello, mate. Yeah, mate, yeah, I live here. Which one? This one? Peaceful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with the neighbour over there? No idea, he just popped up. He just popped up out of nowhere. Never seen I, him. I assume there's more than one door, huh? Uh, I would imagine so, I'm not sure. All good. I'll be back to raid your neighbour. Take it easy. No, I mate, take it easy. Right, I've decided I'm not going to waste these. I'm going to go ahead and research them. Uh, it's going to be loud, which sucks, but it's fine. I have a plan in motion, which is good. Just come to watch. I won't take anything. Yeah, no worries. That, that'll even have enough, to be honest. Yeah, he's got. Oh! I imagine he's got. He's only got one door. He's got a metal door in there. Oh, what's that? What that's the fuck a, is that? That's a flame trap. <laughs> flame <laughs> thrower. <laughs> flame trap, yeah, but that. He's baited you. Yeah. Right, that was a bust. I need some more satchels. Four might even get there, but before I can do that, I'm gonna head to the uh, to the lab. Fuck me! That scared me. back for that. That's a semi-rifle right there. Now with semi-rifle learnt and a counter-raid gone awry... <laughs> Shit! 
I should have had that. That was easy. Hello? Hi. I decided it was time to finally start building my main base. And once that was wrapped up and I had more doors and something that adds loads of doors, I decided to finish off the raid that I had once started. What's up guys, this video is sponsored once again by the lovely people over at NVIDIA. Rust now supports NVIDIA Reflex, reducing latency by up to 38%. NVIDIA's new system latency reduction feature, lowering the time it takes my mouse click to an action taking place on screen this is measured in milliseconds and can grant a significant difference in competitive titles where movement and shots matters so whenever you're in a high octane counter raid or a pvp situation or you're just rock fighting someone those key milliseconds can really make a difference and you switch it on just by going into graphics here you go to options graphics and then you come down here and it just says right there enable nvidia reflex you can alter it on or off. Obviously, mine is on. Rust recently also added NVIDIA DLSS as well, boosting performance up to 50% at 4K on RTX GPUs. So NVIDIA DLSS, which uses AI to boost frame rates whilst generating sharp and detailed images. The extra performance means your RTX GPU can now play at higher resolutions and graphics settings. And I am playing on an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series GPU, so the RTX 3080, which is up to two times faster than the previous RTX 2080. Thank you once again for NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. Enjoy the rest of it, guys. Take it easy. Okay. Well, it isn't much at all. It's honestly a nice amount of scrap and some and some salt for that. Okay, that's lifted my spirits a bit. <laughs> that was still pretty woeful, unfortunately. But it's fine. I guess it's fine. Four just got that's good. That's good. Honestly, it gets us where we're going, so it's good. We can do another raid now too, and we could. But first, it would require me to bash out some window bars, something that took a painstaking, maybe seven minutes of just hitting it with machetes and stuff. And God, I hate eco raiding. But once that was done, I was in, and it was time to start blowing through and seeing what goodies were in this one. Now, I had estimated there was going to be at least three doors to get through, so I started making myself up to 12 satchels, and to do that I needed a tiny bit of farm, and this is where I meet a character who plays quite a big part in the end of this story. Here he is. I'm just going to go have a little roam. There's a base that, like, I know I want to raid that base that I knocked the, uh, the things out of, um, but there is a base this way that I saw on my travels. Uh, whilst I was out farming. <coughs> and there's a sign out front that I have muted, so I can't see what it is. Oh... So bad. Oh, sorry, dude. I, I thought you might have gear because you had a uh, a hazmat. I'll just drop everything you had here. Sorry about that. Like I said, that trash-talking weenie plays of no significance right now, but he does play significance towards the end of the story, so keep him in the back of your mind. Now, the more pressing thing on my mind was to go and raid this base that I had eco-raided just not long ago. Okay, I think I have everything. Let's do this raid, huh?
Right, I'm not, I'm not here to cause a fight. I just spawned and heard explosives. Are you Latvian? Oh, oh my god, that was worth, holy, explo ammo, dude, so much, Ooh, wee. so a very successful raid, very profitable raid too, and I got a few of the things that I needed, one of which being explosive ammo, something I was desperate to get, so I could raid somewhat in peace. I still didn't have a silencer, but I thought I would probably find one of those along my travels. I sealed up the base, waited for things to cool down outside, and then started to transfer all the loot. I was happy. I was making moves, and I was taking over this area bit by bit. Now, with that being said, I had got a level 3 down, and I was getting a little sick of only seeing this area, so I thought it was high time I went for a... I think... Um, I definitely saw a rip, yeah, it's there. Oh. Just the guy that cried when I killed him and called me bad. Where has he been, I wonder? That could be a, be a pretty chill, profitable raid, maybe. Now, if it isn't clear, this rib was interesting for a couple of reasons. One, it was outside the base that Trash taught me earlier, and the base had grown a little bit from a 2x1 to a 2x2. And two, this base is very close to a oil rig and to an underwater lab. Meaning, they have been back from one of the two or both, meaning they have some pretty good gear in there, and it's not a very expensive raid. So, I kept that in my back of my mind as I went for this roam. Damn it, I wanted that horse. <laughs> Fuck off, where's this guy's going, man? I give up. I can't fight. It's not- it doesn't exist anymore.
Now, with the sun solely setting after that roam, I went home, banked the loot, and focused my efforts on some more pressing matters. <sighs> this is nice, man. Like, how often do you get to just actually relax and rust, you know? I got the music in the back from the dude in the counter. I'm reeling in fish. No one's trying to kill me. Come on. In you come. It is your destiny. This is just the life, you know? And with that dealt with, I headed on home with my scrap and food and animal fat. Fishing's really good, by the way. It's really, really good. I headed home to focus my efforts on my next raid, which was going to be that base with the rib outside of it. Then I found myself in a sticky situation. Hoping that my horse is still here. My horse is not here. What the hell? Why are you door camping, man? I'm not door camping, dude. I was just running by and you scared me. Look, I'm gonna leave and then you do you. Damn, that was close. Bit of a sticky situation there. I would have liked to have got the dude's like gun and stuff, but uh, the heli kind of helped me and hindered me there. So after that, I gathered up what little explosives I had to go and shoot down the wooden door on that base and see what was going on inside. They were online, horse, so yeah. I was expecting to have a bit of fight back, which is fine. I headed over there with gleeful intent and Hopefully, something good in my future. They were coming back from one of their trips on the rib. This would be a perfect time for me to ambush them, and also another perfect time to be rendered a door camper. <laughs> rib is going on by. Fucking bullets. Bro, G Day, what the fuck? Why are you killing us? What do you mean? Why? It's rust. Bro, why? We are mates. We're friendly. Doubt it. Their guns are gonna have fallen in the water, haven't they? Hello. I'm naked.
Oh, fuck off. Yeah, that kind of stung, but I, I don't really know why I didn't, like, change seats and... or turn, or just... <laughs> I don't know. My brain just kind of froze. I just didn't move. He was. I was like, he's shooting me in the head. This is fine. He'll, just, he'll miss. <laughs> and he just double headshots me. Like, what do I expect to happen? I end up going back um, to try and get some kits back. What the fuck? But that clearly didn't go so well. Two other geared guys had turned up to come and counter whatever it is that just took place at their base. And they killed me, obviously. So, I then swam out to try and salvage any gear they may have left on the bodies because the boat was still out there. However, there was absolutely nothing there. I didn't have the stuff to go and raid them now because I had lost it dying to them. And I would pretty much guaranteed that if I went back to raise them now, that these other two geared guys would come and I would most likely end up losing the raid as I'm a solo and these two are groups of two and three respectively. So I decided to just go out farming for the sulfur I needed and then come back with everything to raid them later. Hopefully they were still online and hopefully the counterers had gone by then. And whilst I was out farming, I literally only took a jackhammer, okay? Because <laughs> I just wanted to farm in peace. I didn't really care if I died. I just, I was kind of on tilt, so that's all I took. What you're about to witness is the weirdest series of events ever. I <laughs> just enjoy. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> I killed him with a fucking jackhammer from behind. That is so funny. I'm gonna finish his raid. Cheers, bro. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh, yeah, shit. Come on. Thank you. Mind you, like I said, I was on tilt and I just wanted to chill and do some farming. So at the time, I also unmuted on Discord and was talking to my friends. So that's who you will be hearing now. <laughs> but yes, I snuck up behind someone, killed them with a jackhammer, stole their flame raid, now had a flamethrower, <laughs> and was about to go on a flame raiding. Ra Put him out of your kids. shit. Put him in the bin. <laughs> 365 kids a year. Fucking hell, I think Jack lives here. He's saving rocks and torches. Is that farm base? Is that you, Jack? Is that Jack base? <laughs> Jack. Oh, he's left it unlocked. And engines. Fucking hell. It's like I designed it. <laughs> yeah. In like KSP. Ooh. Hello, door frame. Free stuff in my life. Free tier two. Guess you've already got one though. <laughs> yeah, I've got a spare one. And a tier three. Oh my god. I mean, that's <laughs> pretty worth. Oh yeah. It's very fucking. Oh my god, look at the high quad. This is going to be super loud, but there's literally nothing I can do about it at this point, so. I guess it's whatever. Yep, you guessed it, it was time for the raid. I had now got AK learnt from all my scrap from my flame raids. So I headed over with a bunch of explosive ammo to blow through the, f the first few doors and see what lay ahead of me. 
and also see if they'd built up. Because it, it'd been a while, because I'd been out farming and flame raiding and stuff. Well, I don't hear them in there, so it would appear they're either out on an oil rig or something, or they're just offline. But they've certainly built up. And... Okay. That doesn't make any sense to me, but alright. really hoping there was going to be like a bunch of metal or, or, or sulfur in there. That's a shame. Oh well. I got enough of one more door? Yeah. Oh shit. Well that was close. Good thing I was in here. Sorry, I can shoot it out from here, I think. My AK is going to die, but I got the Tommy. Sweet. Oh my god. No way have they put like their main loot in here. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. There's no way, right? This is not main loot. This has got to be the loot that they just dump after coming in from like oil rig and stuff. Still. Damn. Garage door. That is trouble. I'm gonna need more explo ammo. Oh! Fuck out of here, dude. Alright, I know I can get past it. I've been and made more expo to get through this armored door. I guess it's out. Uh, yeah, I went and made more expo to get through the armored door. This should do it. Behind there will be TC. It has to be. So, let's get into it, huh? Out too. Oh my gosh, we're secure. We get another door on. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> oh, that was funny. 
All right, now we can actually uh, see what kind of loot we got in here. So I got my AK plus the one from in here. All these guns, metal faceplate, which is cool. I can make those, but uh, it's nice to have another one. Not really much else, to be honest. I was expecting this to be pretty jam-packed for loot, but uh, I mean, I guess not, right? And that, as they say, was that. That was my last act on the server. I actually ended up giving uh, my gear set to the dude that came to try and counter-raid because I just enjoyed his valiant effort. And I gave him my mini-copter too. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please leave a like, if not a dislike. Thanks again for NVIDIA for sponsoring this one. And I hope my little contribution to this man will help in his story on his solo journey. See you in the next one, guys. Peace. I've been searching in the dark Trusting every clue I've found But the truth has not been told Cause every corner of these woods is hollow I can't see